Okay, on the next piece, after we made our uh, roll, um, this is the body of the vehicle. The next thing that we need to create is uh, our motor mount. And this is what our uh, car's motor is actually going to sit on. Um, and so our process for that is you're gonna take an index card um, and we're gonna fold it the long ways. In this case, most people I think call that the hot dog way. So fold it um, down. If I'm looking at the lines on my index card, I'm folding those lines together um, to start out. Um, and we wanna try to really be as accurate as we can with our folds. Um, so really try to get corner against corner. Um, and I usually do a, a light fold um, like that. And then once I'm finished, if you use a pencil or something like that, that'll really help make a strong crease um, in your uh, index card. Um, once you've done that, we're gonna fold it the opposite way. This way we're going hamburger, we're going end to end. Um, and same thing with our corners. We wanna make sure we really, really get those corners close together. So one of the things that helps me with that is um, to do a light fold with those corners together. And then once that light fold is there, I'll do that hard fold with a pencil or something that's really gonna help um, give me a nice solid, um, nice solid edge there. Um, <clears throat> and then our next step is we're gonna, we're gonna fold this paper again. So now I've got a piece of paper that looks like this. Basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna fold each of these ends up and I'm gonna create kind of a, a W um, or it's actually gonna end up being flipped upside down in a minute, we'll create an M. Um, I have a, a ruler here on my board that I'm using, um, but you're gonna want uh, between about one and two centimeters um, to, to fold. You don't want a real big, uh, big fold. I'm using about two centimeters here. Um, and so when I say that we don't really need a big fold, that's what it looks like. It is a really small fold that's there. And then I'm gonna practice that same thing using my pencil or just something to give me a nice strong crease in that fold. So now I've got one end of my W going up and I wanna do the same thing um, for, my, for my other side. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I wanna go about the exact same length um, the second fold is usually a little easier to find the measurement part for because you already you're, you should be matching up your creases. Um, same thing, a light fold and then fold with your pencil or something to give you a nice strong crease. I told you we are going to create a W. It should be equal. We should have end to end. Um, and we're actually going to use this upside down, so it creates this really tiny M. Um, and we're gonna use that to place our, there's gonna be a straw that goes in here for our motor, um, but it's going to sit inside of this. Um, and so you don't really want that end to be too big or it's gonna sit down and it might actually hinder um, your motor a little bit. You just want it to be enough where it just gives it a place to rest, um, just like that. So that is um, our next step for our motor mount.